An amphibious cycle is a human-powered vehicle capable of operation on both land and water. The design which has probably received the most coverage is Sidula's bicycle. The bike uses four rectangular air-filled floats for buoyancy, and is propelled using two fan blades which have been attached to the spokes. Moraga's Cyclo Amphibious uses a simple tricycle frame to support three floaters which provide both the flotation and thrust. The wings on the powered wheels propel the vehicle in a similar way to a paddle wheel. Another design is the SBK Engineering Shuttle Bike. It consists of two inflatable floats with straps that allow the carrying of a bicycle with passenger. The ensemble, when deflated, fits in a backpack for carrying by the cyclist. Another amphibious vehicle is that of seven engineering students at the University of Southampton. The amphibious cycle combines a recumbent frame with separate floats and is propelled using a paddle wheel. A speed test on water achieved an average speed of 1.12 meters per second. The cyclist was able to transition the cycle both into and out of the water unassisted. This prototype has a real application in urban areas of flooding, as well as applications in the leisure industry. An amphibious vehicle was created by five engineering students at Calvin College as a senior design project May 2010. This vehicle improves upon previous designs by allowing smooth transition from water to land. Another recent design was developed by Ibrahim Hamatnia for his voyage around the world. This velomobile was called the Melanie. 